DJ Pro has one of the best video mixing modes out of any DJ software. And in this video, I wanna show you some hidden features that I have came across with this amazing app. The first one I wanna show you, we're gonna be starting in not video mode. And then if we select a video song, so I'm in title and I searched music video. So I'm gonna press this music video track. Now the first one is, it's gonna ask you, video track detected, would you like to load load this track in video mode? So you could say not now, and then you could still DJ with the music video as a regular song, or if you press okay, now we are in video mode. So it's kind of like a trick how to get into video mode. Next one is going to be over here. So if you press this one, top left corner, these are our transitions. So I have it on grid, look at the transition. You could change your transitions there. But a really cool hidden feature is down here, split audio and video. So look at this crossfader, regular crossfader. If we press split audio and video, now we have like a double crossfader. So we could mix the videos together like that. And we can mix the audio. So this is, so this is our regular audio crossfader. So that's going to crossfade the audio and you could crossfade the video separately. So if you want to get really into it and do kind of really, uh, really cool video transitions and not just audio transitions, then this is a great way to really dial it in and have more control. So you press over here, split audio and video. I recommend keeping it on if you're going to be using video mode. Next is going to be over here. So to select your visualizer, so you see, see how this one, it's not a music video, it's a visualizer. You press this drop down menu and you could choose whatever visualizer you want. They have a lot, hopefully they add more soon. But another thing that you can do is you could add videos directly from your device. So uh, kind of a suggestion to use this is maybe you're doing a sweet 16 or a wedding or something and the bride and groom are dancing or there's something or there's like a nice special moment. You could record that with your phone or with a camera and then maybe airdrop it to your iPad, and then you could have that image, that video playing on the screen. And it's really cool. People really appreciate it, and it makes your set look more professional. Another thing you could do is use live photos. I'm not going to press it because I don't know what's on my photo reel. But with a live photo, you could have like yourself like you know, waving your arms or dancing, and it is going to play the live photo to the beat, and I think it is really cool, and definitely check that out. Another feature is you could get rid of the visualizer altogether. If you just want to use music videos or videos and not have the visualizer, you could tick this button off. And then over here, if we go to our effects, now we're in our effects, you're usually going to be in audio effects. So these are all your regular effects that you're used to. But here we have visual effects. These effects are only going to affect the video output of the song. So it's not going to affect the audio at all. So this one's Edge. Oh, uh, yeah. So they're really cool. It's really fun. Like when the bass drops and stuff like that to add these visual effects. But also, it could be kind of annoying because it doesn't do anything to the audio. But there's another feature over here, and it's audio and visual. There's not that many. There are only five, but it's really cool. There's echo, echo audio video. The strobe one's really cool. It's going to add a little strobe to it, and it's going to affect the audio and video of the song. So it looks really cool when you have your iPad connected to a TV or a projector and you're using these audiovisual effects. And if you guys want to learn more on how to connect your iPad to a TV or a projector, check out this video over here.